Hey everyone, welcome to the optional practice video for advanced indexing. Let's get started. Here in our text editor, I already have NumPy imported. Let's look at a new way how we can create a sample array. We'll say array A is equal to the NumPy method arrange. This takes in three arguments. So the first one is the starting position. We'll say zero, and then we'll end with 100, and we'll have a step size of five. Now let's print array A. We'll open up a command prompt or a terminal and say python3 advanced indexing practice.py. Now we see that we have a one dimensional array starting at zero and ending at 95 with a step size of five. Let's say print array a dot size. So we'll get back the size of this and we see the size is 20. So let's go ahead and reshape this. We'll say array a reshape is equal to array a dot reshape and then let's say four rows and five columns. We'll save this and then we'll print array a reshape and run this to our terminal. Let's use this sample array of shape four by five for this video. First, let's get some more practice using negative indexing. Let's say that we wanted to return every last value from each row of this array. We could say print, and then we'll call in that array. So array a reshape, we'll use square brackets to index. The colon denotes every row. And then if we want the last value in every row, all we need here is a negative one. We'll save and print this. And we see that we get back a one dimensional array of 20, 45, 70, and 95, which is just the last column in this array. This negative indexing is something built directly into Python. So anytime you have something that you can index, you're likely able to use negative indexing as well. Now let's do another example of Boolean indexing. We'll create a new variable. So we'll say array A, and then let's say this one is above 50. Remember that we call the array that we want to do the condition on first. So we'll say array A reshape. And this time let's do it in one line. So last time we created a true and false matrix on one line and then applied that matrix to the array on the second line. We can actually combine these into one Python line. We'll do this by saying array A reshape again. So we're indexing this with the same array as before. And then let's make the condition above 50. So in this one line, we're creating a true and false matrix here and then using that true and false matrix to index this matrix here. Then we assign that to this variable name here. So let's print array A above 50. We'll execute this. And now we have all the values indexed out above 50. We can use any of the Python logical statements here. So this doesn't have to be greater than or less than. It could be not equal to, which would look something like this. It could be equal to, it could be greater than or equal to, and many more. We'll save this and execute it. So now we should include 50, which we do. But notice how we're only applying one conditional statement here. If we have multiple statements and need to do an AND or an OR logic, we would need to use a separate method. We could index this new array again, but notice that we're now indexing a one dimensional array instead of the original four by five. So let's do that now. And we'll use a Python slice to do this. We'll say print array A above 50. So this new one dimensional array, which is right here, we'll index it. And then we're using a Python slice. So let's say we start at the first number or the zero index position. And now let's say that we want to go all the way through the array but depending on this conditional, we may not know how long that is. We'll just say length of array A above 50. And then let's say that we want every other value. We'll do that using a two here. So this is just a Python slice starting at the first value and going all the way through the array. We're skipping every other value by using the two here. We'll save and print this. And now we're returned 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which is just every other value of the array that we indexed. But we're doing this operation on a one dimensional array. What if we have the old array, so this one here, and we wanted to take a slice on every single row in that array? We'll say slice of a row, and then we'll drop down and say print this array was 
array a reshape. So we'll pass that in here, array a reshape, square brackets to index. To do this over every row, we'll say a colon, and now we can just use another Python slice. We'll say zero to five and skip every other value. We'll print this. And now we have a new array of the size four by three. So we've gotten more practice using slices with this example and this example. We've looked at how to do a conditional statement again, and we've also looked at negative indexing again. We'll use that where method one more time. We'll say print, and then this one is numpy.where. We'll pass in the array. So array A reshape is greater than 50. Now remember the first argument is the value that you want to have when true. So we'll say this is just equal to the array A reshapes value. And then for all the false values, we'll say negative one. We'll print this and execute it. And now we have a new array where every value that is not above 50 gets the value of negative one. So to use the where method effectively, we just need a condition, which is what we have here. We're saying where everything is above 50, then you need to put a true value. Our true value is just the value in the array already. And the last argument is just the false value. So where this condition returns false, put in this value. We'll talk about math operations in the next video, but we could do something like this. We'll say array A, reshape, and then we can multiply all those values by two. Now, if we were to execute this again, we get a completely different array based off the values from the old array that we're using a function and then we're returning a false value. I have two challenges for you on this project video. The first one is to take this array, the one that we created in the very beginning, and see if you can reverse each element within the row using negative indexing. So the result would be 20, 15, 10 in the first row, 45, 40, and 35 in the second row, and so on. The second challenge is to see if you can pull out all the values over 20 and under 75. But keep the shape and use two conditionals to do it. If you need any help with these two challenges, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know that too. I'll see you in the next lecture about Ray Maths.